See you guys. That. Cassie found something here. It's the size of a nickel. A buffalo nickel. Give me the buffalo juice. Oh, I got to keep digging some more here. Let's see what else we can get. I found myself a bucket lister. I got a crotal bell. It's a weedy. You found a weedy? Yes. Sweet. Walking Liberty 1943 half dollar. Oh my god, it's freaking gorgeous. Indian. You got an Indian? Oh my god, Cassie got an IHP. Needless to say, I am a happy camper. Hello, it is um, 2.24 p.m. on a Tuesday in June. I think it's like the 22nd or 23rd, whatever that was. I wasn't even going to record today. I'm just getting out for a couple of hours while the kids are uh, doing something else. Come to the uh, school I have detected many times. Uh, it's it's hard because right above me here there is a power line that uh, really throws up a lot of chatter. I've had to use the Equinox in 10 kilohertz here a lot because um, the multi-frequency, it just doesn't like that. Uh, I come by with a simplex today just to goof around a little bit and I've gone 15 feet. I got a nickel, it's the second nickel I found, pull tab, single key, and then two keys on a ring. So I figured, you know what, let's start recording some of this stuff because I've been here so many times, I shouldn't be finding anything. I've gone 15 feet, literally, and I found all of this. So I guess maybe it's one of those days. Let's just see what else we can find. Here we go, three feet later, another nickel. It's just a Jefferson nickel, but I mean, I've literally gone like 20 or 25 feet, that's all so far. Okay, nickel day, I guess. Been a while since my last find, but I can see down in the plug there already a nickel. Uh, yep, just another Jefferson. <laughs> but yet another nickel. Dang, I can't believe how many nickels I found out of this place. See what else we can get. I, I'm going to go for a little bit longer, but I got to get back home soon. And here we go again. My other plug is right there. You can see the little round edge of it. And here we go, right over here, another nickel. <laughs> this is just insane how many freaking nickels you're going to find with a simplex. I tell you what, I do like the update. See the little X on the speaker right there? I love how on this update you can just push that and uh, turn the volume on, push that and mute it. It's really convenient when you use your pinpointer. <laughs> God, another nickel. Holy cow. All right, let me get you down in the hole, and you can see right there. Oh, right there. There it is. There's something. What the heck, chiffon? Oh, I think this is a lipstick tube. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, and it's opening. Check that out. Oh, there's there's stuff in it. Oh, wow, there's stuff still left in it. I'm going to see if I can put this top back on here. Here we go. I'll check that out more when I get home. So, can you guess what I got? <laughs> if you guessed nickel, you'd be right. Got another nickel. Holy cow. This is just insane. Nickel day. And 30 seconds later, here we go. If you want to see a nickel in its natural habitat. Yep, I got another one. <laughs> I've lost count of the number of nickels. Wait a second. Holy crap. That's a buffalo nickel. That's a buffalo nickel. Hang on, let me get my glasses on. Holy crap, that is indeed a buffalo nickel, and the sun is out so much I can't see what's going on. Let me rub that a little bit right here. I don't think I'm going to get a date off of this one, though. Nah, that shoulder is pretty bad right there. But I got a buffalo nickel. <laughs> I was not expecting that. 
I will definitely take that. This Simplex, I tell you what, I don't know how many times I can say it. It is no joke. Holy cow. Deep, maybe deeper, because uh, it's very... The, this was down below where the dirt level is there. I pushed some back in. But I found the world's biggest washer here. Holy cow. That is a ginormous washer. <laughs> wow, it's a different day. Um, there were storms last night. Humidity is through the roof right now, too. It feels like I'm in the deep south. Uh, oh, well, let's keep going. Well, here we are. We're done. Um, it's actually quite a ways later. Uh, it is July 12th. And I think I said at the beginning of one of these clips it was like the 22nd or 23rd of June or something like that. So that's how long of a stretch it's been here. Um, after these video clips were done, I got on a stretch there where I had uh, things going on, um, had to prepare for the 4th of July, having to restrict having people over but be able to have people over uh, because we're still in the um, trying to be conscious of who we are, are around uh, and not be around too many people because of the COVID stuff still going on. Uh, so there's a couple of families, um, friends of uh, the family and my daughters that um, we're around each other and not a whole lot of other people. So we've kind of made our own little multi-family unit here so uh, we were able to have uh, their friend uh, my daughter's friends over from that grouping for the 4th of July but anyways I digress um, interesting hunt wasn't it I did end up going to a couple of other spots just for a little bit and got some clad and stuff out of the deal but um, went that that first section of videos, the stuff I took the video for, was all at the location where I have hunted before so many times it's pathetic. And every time I go there, I think, there's no way I'm going to find anything. I've just been here too many times. It's not that big of a spot. I mean, I think my backyard is bigger than this area that uh, I go to. And every stinking time I go there, I tend to find something. <clears throat> um, especially since I've started taking the Simplex there, and that Simplex loves the mag, uh, the uh, nickels so much, uh, and it's less affected by that um, power line that's going overhead, which that may be the key right there to a lot of things. Is um, I'm able to uh, be in the area easier because. Um, the frequency that that simplex operates in isn't as affected by whatever frequency of disturbance that is being put out by that power line. But let me show you what I got real quick because I have some hunting to do. We finally got rain a couple of days ago. Didn't the ground is we've had 90 degree heat wave here, 90 plus days, and the ground was baked to dry. We got rain on Friday. It's Sunday now, and um, it really didn't do as much as I'd like. That first three inches or so of the ground is easier to dig but really didn't get a chance to penetrate farther than that unfortunately it's still pretty dry we're going to go out and give it a shot anyways but let's first show you what we got from this hunt this is what we came away with um if i need to fix anything you know i could probably put that hoot through uh the uh, electrolysis and come away with a usable screwdriver but i don't really need one a couple of keys some melted lead um that's interesting I don't know whether that's really, really old or just from like, you know, lead shingle um, or flashing and stuff like that. Shotgun shell head stamp 22, part of a nice pocket knife scale. This has got some um, some heft to it. It feels good. Some of that clad that I got, and I think that was all at a different spot mostly. Zipper pull, zinc pennies, a couple of nickels. That wanted to be older, the 46 and 64. One of them uh, ended up being Canadian, and I got that Buffalo. Check that out. Was not expecting that. And this at that hunted out spot, I just should not have been able to find something like this, but I did. 
and this lipstick tube that has chiffon on one end and uh, I don't know if there's a whole lot of markings on the other by this point in time but as you could see tap it make sure the powder is still down if I take the top off carefully ooh, it's set up look at that look down in there you still got the uh, dried up lipstick I, I'm not a hundred percent sure how old that is chiffon I don't think is a brand I think it is a color or texture of lipstick um, or a gloss level of some sort uh, I'm not sure that's not the brand though um, this you know based on the way it looks I think that's probably it doesn't sound like it would be that old but I think that's 40 to 50 years old 1970 was 50 years ago now it doesn't sound like it's that far back but it is uh, which makes me sound or I feel a lot older but I think this is probably from right around those times 70s or something like that so not a bad haul for just a really about I think probably three hours out so I, I can't say that I'm displeased um, I went out yesterday to some schools checking the areas out I've, there's some schools in the area that I have not been to before um, mostly because none of them really sounded all that old but I wanted to go check them out anyways and you'll see those videos next time I'm going today to hit up a couple of more of them see what I can find I still haven't gone door knocking right now because the ground is so stinking dry. We still need gobs more rain. Um, and it, just walking across the grass is enough in some cases, especially that sun that gets constant sun, or grass that gets constant sun exposure. Just walking across it, you can come back in another day or two after that. And you can see your footsteps in the grass because just that little bit of a disturbance is enough to cause the ground to lose or the grass to lose what little green it has and just go totally brown. Um, so we're in that section of summer that I have to be really careful. So put my top back on my lipstick tube here. Anyway, that's what I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to have some breakfast and hit the road. So talk to you guys later um don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber tell your friends um i'm still trying to grow the channel to a thousand subscribers that's all i want to get is you know somewhere a thousand or a little over uh and i'm getting closer i'm over 700 <laughs> that's all i can maybe maybe up around 800 i can't remember so um uh, help me out however you can you know we're all in this together right now more so than ever so anyway off to do some detecting and see you guys later you go find your treasure i'm about to go find mine